Hi, okay, um, this is a technique sample kind of designed to get introduce you guys to more options with furniture and cool things that are out there. So you guys are going to find a chair, anyone you want, um, import it as an OBJ. Um, you're gonna have to make some changes to it most likely. You have the option to resize it and you can change the color of it, add textures, little things like that. And then you'll wanna save that OBG as your new chair. Um, let's see here. And then you're gonna add an avatar and you're gonna have to figure out a sitting pose. So Clo 3D has free sitting poses, but they might not sit perfectly in your chair. So then you can change your avatar so it does and then save that new pose as well. Then finally, we don't want our avatar to not be dressed. This is a fashion course after all. So you will find some outfit to put on it and then apply the chair and apply the pose and voila, that is this technique sample. So let's get started. Um, in our assignment, I introduced you guys to some places to find furniture. Um, and chairs so really you can find them anywhere on the internet if you do a Google search but it's easiest if you find an OBJ file um, I like free just for learning because we're not too serious about it um, so I actually found this one I downloaded it when I downloaded it it saved it as an RAR file which I think is like a zip file so I had to unzip it but to unzip the RAR I needed an app on my computer I'm not sure if you'll run into that or not, or if you can get just the OBJ, but you'll wanna get the OBJ. So mine's already downloaded, so I'm gonna go ahead and now go to Clo. I'm gonna open my OBJ. So I'm gonna go File, Import. There's nothing else on it, so I can just say Import. OBJ, okay, uh, there it is. I'm gonna double click it. And um, object type is Avatar. For now, I'm leaving the scale. I don't really care, because I can go resize it later. All this is fine. I'll say okay. Okay. Great. Okay. Okay, there it is. Maybe for scale, it would be helpful for me to open up an avatar at this point. I'm going to be using the Clo avatars, uh, male version two. And Dario's at the top, so he is the winner. Okay, so as you can see, my chair is suddenly gone, but it's not gone it's here somewhere Ooh, maybe it did actually delete it so no worries um this time i'm going to say file import add let's bring that guy back there's my chair all of this is good so now i have two avatars open is what the computer thinks and okay there it is okay so let's resize this guy um so if you know the specification, I believe you can actually just type it in. Nope, nope, not yet. We'll be able to type it in a second. We're gonna zoom in here, okay? And, ooh, nope. Let's, ah, let me get a little closer. Okay, click on the chair. There we go. Do you see this little image that popped up? That will rescale it. It's gonna change our gizmo um, into a sizing thing. So we're gonna have to remember that that's the thing we have to click when we want to move it back to the gizmo. I'm gonna click it. Now it has our resizing button. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm on the diagonal so it saves my proportions. However much bigger, it just makes it wider and all that good stuff. Let's zoom out, see how we're doing. It's definitely too small. Kind of just eyeballing it for now. Okay, I think that might be a little too big. Okay, at this point, I wanna move it so that it's not underneath the floor. So I'm gonna click that little box again. Hey, my gizmo's back can bring it up okay what do I think uh, we can always resize it more later okay um, how about now if I change this avatar um, to a sitting pose now I downloaded a free one off Clo, which you can do as well and I moved it to be in my library so when you download it you'll definitely want to move your pose into the right folder so it's easy to find um okay m2 sitting this is the one that I got from um, close website. Double click it, pose. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay, so he's floating as well. Let's see if I can get the gizmo turned on for this guy. Uh, select avatar and garment. Here we go. That turned our gizmo on. And 
I'm gonna kind of get them situated in here. Alrighty. Let's take a look. Okay, so you can see like his one arm is already hitting the chair. So this is where you may have to do some rigging, which maybe might be new to you. Um, so there's a little toggle menu where you can turn on the little, I don't know, joints. And I'm gonna move the elbow. It's making him kind of go up. I'm gonna move the wrist. I don't know if I like that or not, but you're gonna kind of play around with it until you think it's good. Maybe you do the other side too. Oh my gosh. Yeah, anyways, you just kind of rig it. Whatever you think is a cool pose, that's up to you. When you're done, you can save this pose. You go file, save as pose, and then give it a name and all of that good stuff. Um, okay, the chair. It does not have to stay white. Um, we can actually click that guy. Let me turn off the rigging. Okay, let's go grab our chair. I'm gonna grab the leg. Um, so the leg, um, they showed wooden legs on the website I downloaded it for. So what I did, I, oh, see how this, this is where I got it. So they're like wooden panels. So um, I actually went and just Googled tile, like swatch of wood. Um, and I found this, it was free, so I downloaded it. There's lots of places you can find artwork swatches. Okay, so let's go back to Clo. And that's selected, and maybe actually I'm gonna hold shift and grab the other leg as well. Okay, so let's scroll down under material. So there's no texture right now, so we can just click that those boxes and go find our texture and give it a double click, and voila, there it is. Um, you also have options you know, to change the color if you want. If you don't want to use a texture print, um, you can change the fabric type. If you wanted to make it like metal or something, all that. It's just like the fabrics and other avatar stuff. Okay, so there's that. And I think I'm good. So then I will actually save, export the chair as an avatar. So maybe to make things easier, I might take this avatar and just delete him. And then now I can say file. Um, export, hmm, I can export, I wonder if I should save this as a avatar. I haven't done that before, I'm just kind of playing around. Um, okay, for me, I'm gonna save it though. Downloads. Okay. But probably what you should do is just say export um, OBJ. Okay, and I'll just say um, revised in flow chair. All right, let's see which one turns out better. Single object is good. Um, and I think we're okay. Yeah, let me minimize some of these so I can say okay. Okay, cool. So also in Clo, um, on the Connect store, I just found an outfit, the Oogie Boogie outfit. So I downloaded that for free. And so now I have my chair, I have my pose, and I have my outfit. And I'm just going to go ahead and add them all together and finish up this little technique sample. Actually, my chair's already there. Let's see. So let's do File, um, Add, Avatar. Oh, actually, let's do this. I'm gonna click add. Okay. Um, or I bet you, let's see here. Open project. I'm just gonna get rid of those. Let's go find the Oogie Boogie. He's a Z project. I guess I could have saved him as clothing, a garment, and I could have added the garment. Either way, this will all work. Okay, so now let's bring in the avatar. Okay, and there he is. Maybe I'll select all of the clothes and just make sure it's gonna fit him okay. Oops. I'm gonna simulate.
Okay. Looks pretty good. Okay. Unsimulate. Um, let's bring in, maybe right now I actually just go for the pose. I'm going to double click the pose and um, I saved my pose as sit with armrests. I'm going to double click it. I'll say, okay. Okay, great. And then now I'm gonna go get my chair. Let's do file, add, avatar. And I'm gonna go to my downloads, my modern chair. Say um, add, okay. Hey, there it is, great. Um, one thing I was noticing when I was playing around with it was that my clothing was kind of running through the chair and so um, something I decided to do on the chair was um, I gave it like a thicker skin. So let's see if I'll have to do that too. So where it says skin offset, I ended up changing it to five just to kind of have that invisible space so that it wouldn't go through it. Um, so that might, you might have to do that as well. Okay, so it looks like my chair is on the floor. My avatar is not. So I'm gonna move my avatar. I think the easiest way is to, uh, not show the garments right now, just kind of hide it. Then I click his face and I right click and I say select avatar and garment. And then this can kind of make it a little bit easier for me to get him on the chair. Um, okay, move him back. All righty. Let's see if this will work. Okay, um, maybe up a little. Okay, and let's bring the clothes back. Okay. There we go. And I'm simulating. <laughs> Let's see, is he going through the chair? This does not need to be um, strengthened anymore. And Okay, well, there we go. He's on his chair. Anyways, this is just a quick little technique sample to introduce you guys to furniture out there and just more things you have available to you um, just to kind of add to your designs. All right, guys, can't wait to see what you guys submit.